Once again, welcome to the town of Denton. On behalf of uh, the town, town council, and the chamber of commerce, we welcome you to the war memorial and to our state of the town address. Uh, I'd also um, like us to stand for the presentation of the colors, to remain standing as we uh, pledge allegiance to the flag. Thank you. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking your time to come this morning. I am very, very excited for the presentation in just a few minutes um, to learn all about what we have going on in Vinton in the future in 2015. I did want to take a few minutes to recognize some special guests that we have in the audience. First, Daniel O'Donnell, Interim County Administrator. Jason Peters, Vinton Board of Supervisors. Gary Robertson, Executive Director, Western Virginia Water Authority. Michael McAvoy, Executive Director, Western Virginia Water Authority. Chris Morrill, City Manager, City of Roanoke. Mayor David Bowers, thank you for coming today. Ray Ferris, City Council. Dan Miles, CEO, Roanoke Valley Resource Authority. <coughs> Kevin Bogus, City of Salem. Mike Altizer, Vinton School Board Member. Chief Ben Cook, our very own Mayor Brad Gross, Matt Hare, Vice Mayor, Wes Nance, Sabrina Weeks, Doug Adams, Sheriff Charlie Poff. Thank you all so much for coming today. I know that we're all excited to be here. In a few minutes, we're going to be learning more about Vinton. We're also going to be installing the officers for the Chamber of Commerce. For the past two years, I've had the privilege of being the president and leading the organization. It's been a wonderful opportunity, an amazing experience. I am looking forward to the next couple years and everything we have going on in Vinton. I was speaking with um, Doug Adams and Mike Altizer recently about all of the improvements and projects we have going on here. It's just the beginning. Um, I know that sometimes when something starts, we kind of think we can take a deep breath and relax and wait till it's done. Um, this is just the beginning of a wonderful road for Vinton, and I can't wait to see what the next 10 to 20 years has to offer this area and this town and the people in it. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Um, Vinton is a very special place, but the people are what really make up this special town and community. Um, everyone in this room, I think, has given more than 200 percent to um, everything that they do in this area, and the work and everything that's going on is a direct correlation to that. And I wanted to express my gratitude one more time for that. Um, it's been an honor over the past couple years to be a part of it. 
and I'm looking forward to the future. I'm going to ask um, Mayor Brad Gross to step up and open up us with a word of prayer. Good morning, friends. Let's uh, start our program with a word of prayer. If you'll pray with me, please. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this beautiful day that you've given us. Thank you for this food, and we pray you'll bless it to the nourishment of our bodies. And Father, I just want to thank you for the uh, great place that you have given us to live. And certainly want to thank you for all those that are gathered here today and for their service to our communities throughout the valley. Father, we just pray that everything that's done and said here today will be pleasing in your sight. For it is in his holy name we pray. Amen. Again, I certainly want to thank you for uh, being here with us. Uh, we know that uh, you... Uh, you mainly came out to get the good food that T-Berries always has, so uh, we'll try to keep our report to a reasonable length. Uh, by the way, I think uh, T-Berries and the Vinton War Memorial staff did a good job this morning, did a great job this morning, as always. Could we give him a round of applause? Thank you, thank you. Thank you Kevin. And if I could uh, take just a... Uh, a brief moment to once again recognize the event in town council. Uh, we have several of the folks here with us today. If you guys and lady want to stand up, um, there you are, okay. Good deal. I, I appreciate you folks being here. Um, in my opinion, our council is comprised of very honorable, capable people uh, who love this town. The diversity we have on council in life experience, education, and, prof and profession provides a variety of perspectives on the many subjects that come before us. Every issue receives very careful, and I must say, very thorough examination before a decision is made. Lady and gentlemen of Vinton Town Council, I consider it a high honor to serve Vinton with you. Thank you for what you're doing. Some of the same accolades I have just mentioned concerning town council can also be applied to our staff. We are blessed with a dedicated and talented staff, starting with our town manager, Mr. Chris Lawrence. They often go above and beyond the normal call of duty. As part of working in a small town, our staff members are frequently called upon to be multitaskers. While they take pride in being very professional at their designated duties, many staff members perform tasks outside of their job description. Thank you, staff, for conducting yourselves in a professional manner and for being flexible as a member of the Vinton team. I understand that there's a regular meeting held in town, attended by our town manager, Chris Lawrence, and the department directors, uh, Ryan Spitzer, Barry Thompson, Ben Cook, Anita McMillan, Gary Woodson, Mary Beth Lehman, Kevin Kipp, and Captain Linkus, and often very other, uh, several other folks. This meeting, uh, coincidentally, is held on Wednesday morning, just after the Tuesday night council meeting. Now, they call it a staff meeting, but I heard a few years ago it's actually called damage control. So, <laughs> so thank you, Kevin uh, Boggs, for giving it that name. But uh, <laughs> all, right. Uh, all right. So thank you, staff, for doing all the damage control. So what's happening in Vinton? It gives me great pleasure to report that, again, this year, the state of the town of Vinton is very good. We continue to provide a high level of enhanced services to our citizens while keeping the cost low. Several of the capital projects that we've talked about for several years uh, is well underway or will be starting very soon. Under economic development, our assistant town manager, Mr. Ryan Spitzer, has been working hard to meet the requirements of the recent $700,000 grant we received. And many of you folks know when you receive a grant like that, there's a lot of uh, loops to jump through and a lot of things to do. So he's been working hard on that. We are moving forward with downtown revitalization. All new decorative street lights will be installed over the next 90 days. Can you believe that after all these years? And of course, we're looking forward to improvements at the farmer's market and the stage 
Uh, that should happen sometime this spring. The $9 million state-of-the-art library is booking right along. Uh, we want to thank our partners at uh, Roanoke County for the great investment in downtown Benton. Thank you, Board of Supervisors and uh, the library department and certainly the economic development staff led by Jill Loop. We work with Jill and her capable staff almost on a daily basis. Thank you, Jill. As part of the grant we received, we have $100,000 to loan to new businesses or expanding businesses in downtown Fenton. Some of our new businesses include Hometown Flooring, Magnus USA, Support Systems, <coughs> excuse me, D.H. Griffin Steel Recycling, Girardo Restaurant, Becky's Alterations, and a new uh, library with an office complex will be open soon. Many uh, people continue to invest in Vinton. We are expanding, uh, well actually we have several businesses that are expanding. T. Berry's just opened a uh, specialty bakery on Washington Avenue, and the barbecue grill has some new, very excited owners, so I understand we'll see some changes there. The Woods family continue to invest heavily in our town also. As a matter of fact, we have issued uh, $4.8 million in construction permits this year alone, with more to come because that does not include all the permits that will be necessary to finish the library. The historic schools are nearly uh, ready for redevelopment. Rowney Cook and the old William Byrd High School have received some interest. These schools are an incredible anchor to our downtown and they have some of the best views in the Roanoke Valley. Proposals have been received by Roanoke County, so we look forward to these buildings uh, being part of a revitalized downtown Vinton. Vinton joined the Western Virginia Industrial Facilities Authority this year. Significant progress has been made by the board and the consultant to identify 100 acre sites in our region to fill a real void in large industrial location. So Vinton continues to be involved in regional projects. I certainly want to thank Beth Dowdy, uh, the uh, Roanoke Regional Partnership, for the great job that she and her staff are doing. Volunteerism has always played an important role in the town of Vinton. Our citizens have always been involved in important activities such as the Dogwood Festival, the Vinton Fire Department, Vinton Life Saving Crew, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. We have very strong churches and civic groups such as the Lions Club. The, the tradition continues as we now have wonderful volunteer groups at the Vinton History Museum, the Chamber of Commerce, and we have church volunteers at the Vinton Pool. Of course, these are only a few examples of the many things that go on in our town on a voluntary basis. Truly, our special programs and festivals exceed because of the significant contributions of our volunteers and the hard work of Mary Beth Lehman, our special events coordinator. A sincere thank you to all of you who are helping make Vinton a very special place. Our police department is led by uh, Chief Ben Cook, and it continues to make us very proud. The department achieved reaccreditation this year. This important program evaluates all aspects of our police department and ensures policies, procedures, records management, and many other aspects of law enforcement are top notch. Every four years, we must be reevaluated. This team effort is led by Sergeant Valerie Cummings. The police department graduated 15 citizens from the ninth annual Citizens Police Academy. This is an eight week program that introduces citizens to the world of law enforcement. And I'd highly recommend that uh, if you have an opportunity to participate in that, that you certainly take advantage of it. You don't necessarily have to live in the town of Benton. We've had folks from outside the town go through our academy and everyone seems to enjoy it. It's, it's, it's quite a program. The police department continues to invest in our neighborhood watch program. 
by hosting the National Night Out in downtown Benton at the Farmer's Market. This is a great event. It's uh, certainly an opportunity to uh, get to know our police department as well as interact with folks from uh, other uh, neighborhoods in town. Our planning and zoning department is led by Anita McMillan, and it remains very busy and very productive. We have another major Greenway Trail coming to town. The town's newest trail will be called the Glade Creek Greenway Trail, and it will be constructed in the summer of 2015 if everything uh, proceeds as planned. The trail, in conjunction with some sidewalk extensions, will connect downtown Vinton to the backbone of the Valley's Greenways, the Roanoke, uh, which is the Roanoke River Greenway. As you come uh, to our new bridge on Walnut Avenue, you will be met with the uh, trail which runs along Glade Creek. And by the way, it's uh, pretty well kept secret that's getting out that that's a great uh, fly fishing area. The trail will loop around and connect to uh, Tinker Creek Greenway in Roanoke City. From there, we look forward to biking and walking, and some of you even running, to Salem and West Roanoke County. This trail is made possible through multiple funding, funding partnerships with Nova Zones, Precision Fabric Group, VDOT, Roanoke County EDA, the Greenway Commission, and town funding. This is a $250,000 investment in our community, and I'm confident it will, be, it will be enjoyed by many of our citizens. I certainly want to thank Liz Belcher of the Roanoke Valley Greenway Commission for her hard work and devotion to the Greenway system throughout the Valley. I also want to thank our commission members for their dedication. They are Janet Scheib, Bud LaRouche, and Vice Mayor Matt Hare. I just mentioned some fishing a while ago. We're also going to have a new canoe kayak launch, which will uh, be coming along uh, this spring sometime. It's near the uh, Third Street. It's on Third Street near Tinker Creek. This launch will include a concrete ramp, parking, and a picnic area. It will directly connect Fenton and boaters to some of the best fishing and scenic stretches of the Roanoke River all the way down to the Niagara Dam. This will be accomplished through the de dedicated work of Eagle Scout candidate Jack Cranwell and a generous donation of $11,500 from Appalachian Power Company. A special thank you to Bud LaRouche, our Greenways Commission member, and Joe Joseph of Appalachian Power for their efforts in securing this grant. As many of you know, Alexander Films has completed uh, filming Where Are You, Bobby Browning. It's a family-centered uh, film that was uh, staged primarily here in the town of Vinton. They use such sites as the Dogwood Restaurant, W.E. Cundiff Elementary School, the Vinton War Memorial, and uh, some locations along Jackson Street. The film company moved into a vacant space that was formerly used by the uh, health department, and it brought in over 30 crew members and actors. So it was certainly an economic uh, development effort that we much appreciated. And I must say, uh, the uh, filming was a lot of fun, and I, I certainly developed a new uh, respect for those people in that business, but it was great to have them here. I'll ask uh, Chris Lawrence to uh, finish up with some exciting details. The mayor is always uh, very gracious and likes to share the podium um, with, with myself. So I'd like to continue a little bit more um, with some other activities that uh, we've been working on. Our public works department uh, worked with VDOT to complete a $3 million complete overhaul of the Walnut Avenue uh, Bridge, which is a $3 million project. And as the mayor mentioned, this will also be the trailhead to the uh, Glade Creek Trail uh, that will be constructed this spring. Uh, so it's now the new kind of entryway uh, when you're coming in from southern states and from Roanoke City. We also have a number of infrastructure uh, <clears throat> projects. We continue to invest in replacing our water and sewer lines. Jefferson Street water line 
replaces 80 to 100 year lines with modern 8 inch ductile iron pipes. It improves the water quality and most importantly provides fire protection to its just historic downtown neighborhood. And that was a $300,000 uh, water line project, which is where the Rollany Cook School is that we're working to redevelop. And that water is very critical to, as most of us know, for fire protection in old buildings like that. We've also worked in neighborhoods such as Southampton townhomes to replace water lines. We also worked on Washington Avenue. Uh, some of you may have found driving into town um, a wet spot, and that uh, was a sewer line we had to get replaced. <clears throat> that sewer line was a $100,000 project that we replaced in, in our design. We bored under a four-lane highway rather than digging through the middle of it, which would virtually have closed the major corridor in town. We continue to focus on repaving our commercial corridors and entrances to town. Virginia Avenue was completed from the town line uh, by PFG to downtown Benton at a tune of $275,000. But this is a challenge and requires significant more investment to maintain our streets for the decades to come. Investing in our neighborhoods, uh, we continue to replace sidewalks and handicap ramps and make uh, our neighborhoods you know, continue to be nice places to walk uh, whether they're going shopping or to downtown or just simply to go for a nice stroll in the, in the evening. We've also been working uh, in partnership with Roanoke County on our fire and EMS, EMS department to implement a plan to provide 24-hour career fire staff at our Vinton station to assist our long-standing Vinton volunteer fire department which by the way, three members just celebrated 50 years of volunteer service. So that's a combined 150 years of just three people, um, which is an amazing contribution and dedication to our town. It is a tough job to keep up with dozens of hours of training and respond to calls as well as work full time for our volunteers. We, our plan is to hire seven new firefighters, two of which the town of Vinton will hire, five of which Roanoke County will hire. And you kind of wonder why is the county hiring a lot more? The, right now, the town actually has a couple more um, than the county does, so it'll help us kind of balance out. Uh, but it is that strong partnership to help anchor uh, our fire services in East Roanoke County. We appreciate our relationship with Roanoke County in jointly operating our station, uh, and and also very importantly with Roanoke City for being a uh, a backup and consistently committed to all of our citizens, um, no matter where the call is, when you call, everybody's coming, no matter where, what jurisdiction we live in. We're also providing a major renovation to the firehouse to provide housing and modern living space for our firefighters and also our volunteers. <clears throat> We're also excited this year to celebrate the 75th anniversary of our Vinton first aid crew. Um, I think, again, 75 years is a feat in of itself, but that's all volunteers. That's not people that get paid to do what they do. Um, I think that's a testament to, again, our community's dedication and our volunteer efforts. I believe the crew is as strong or stronger today than it probably ever has been. On some anniversaries, our Benton <laughs> History Museum uh, is celebrating an anniversary. And this is just one picture, if you may have remembered, or some of you may have seen, I don't think anybody's quite that old. Um, but <clears throat> the trolley used to come, the trolley used to come right into downtown Benton um, from Roanoke City. And uh, of course it does not come anymore, but it was, came right into Lee uh, Avenue into the heart of our downtown. Our, our museum is interested in expanding and finding ways to provide more history and that cultural component to our community so that we don't forget uh, our past, but they also have a, uh, a very committed vision to what their future is and what our future is as our community. Our War Memorial Special Event venue continues to perform well and, and excel at some new partnerships. Uh, we've brought in new clients. We've partnered with the Roanoke Symphony Orchestra the Roanoke Children's Choir and the Roanoke Children's Theater. 
These activities bring in Madeline's Christmas, which is a uh, meal, character meal that we will be hosting. Um, please get your tickets. It's on December 13th from 9 to 11 a.m. Uh, that is also partnered with, and I apologize for the sunlight uh, that you might not be able to see on the screen, some of those details. Um, <clears throat> we also have a holiday concert and afternoon social with the Roanoke Valley Children's Choir. Um, and again, they're just new uh, partnerships and new events. Uh, you know, the, this building uh, excels very well at weddings. Uh, it's our Monday through Friday traffic for businesses and special events. Uh, that we continue to try to um, pursue and create partnerships with. We also just hosted a Oktoberfest the first time this year with a um, group of doctors in the Roanoke Valley to provide fundraising for medical services um, that they are partners to. <coughs> we have a new contract, a more formalized contract with the Chamber of Commerce to provide marketing and branding for our community. Starting with a $5,000 uh, commitment from the town, we'll have advertising and brand development. And you all saw just a, a touch of this last year when we were working on it. And of course, you consistently see at your tables and everywhere the In Vinton um, brand. Our commitment is to increase investment in marketing for signature special events such as our fall festival, our wine festival, Mingle at the Market, which is a summer concert series, and also business recruitment through a dedicated economic recruitment team. <clears throat> With all these fun, exciting, grand things that we continue to be committed to, uh, there are still challenges. <clears throat> Our challenges uh, focus on funding for infrastructure maintenance and replacement. Our roads, water, sewer, and stormwater require significant amount of cash money to make um, what we come to take for granted when we turn our water on or that the streets don't get flooded out uh, as often as they may. Um, job creation is critical as a town that is predominantly built out. Um, having new businesses and businesses that are already here expand is critical. We also have opportunities and significant challenges, but some real opportunities with redevelopment um, because we are a built out community. So our former Vinton Motor site in the core of downtown, um, we continue to talk with and, and work with uh, Billy Vineyard on, on his property. Again, our schools that the mayor mentioned um, with our uh, partnership with Randwick County to have redeveloped. We also have a couple under underutilized shopping centers that um, with some new investment could really be some uh, very strong hallmark uh, retail centers. So again, those are just some of the three big challenges that we have. Um, but with those challenges, of course, we work very closely with council and our citizens. But the people who do every single day the professional job and are committed to public service are our employees. And if I could get our town employees to just stand up and be recognized, because um, it's certainly not me doing all the work. So if our town of Vinton employees could please stand up. And This is about 10 of 85. The rest of them are out working still, um, picking up trash. I'm sure they're fixing a water line somewhere probably. Um, and But these are the ladies and gentlemen that every single day, doesn't matter if it's raining or snowing um, or what the weather is, whether we have power or not, um, they come to work and they serve our 8,000 citizens and the 30,000 people who drive through town every single day. With that as the conclusion, again, we ask, are you in? Because we are in Benton and we are proud of it. Um, I would encourage you to continue to visit and mingle. Uh, there's certainly plenty of food left. Uh, we appreciate your time and your commitment to the town. Uh, we as a town depend on, but also work very, very diligently to maintain and foster very positive relationships with all of our partners. Um, whether you're other governments or whether you're business, um, we appreciate your attendance and your commitment to the town of Vinton. Thank you very much.